New COVID-19 boosters that specifically target the latest versions of Omicron will now be available after the U.S. Food and Drug Administration authorized their use on August 31st. These new shots come from pharmaceutical companies Moderna plus Pfizer and its partner BioNTech. But there's a key step in the normal FDA decision-making process that was skipped this time around. Here's how these new shots differ from the original doses and when you can expect to get them. Unlike all previously authorized COVID vaccines, these new shots haven't completed human clinical trials. That means their initial authorization depended on data from studies on mice, tests from shots that targeted an earlier Omicron subvariant, plus the safety and efficacy record of the original shots. Rolling out vaccines without clinical trials isn't an entirely new concept. The flu shots you get every year typically don't go through clinical trials because the viruses mutate so rapidly. If every year regulators waited to test them before rolling them out, flu shots might not be available to protect people when they were most needed. And it's a similar situation now with COVID. The new shots will target three COVID strains, the original one that emerged in Wuhan, China in late 2019, plus two Omicron subvariants, BA4 and BA5. In recent months, these newer Omicron subvariants have become the dominant forms in the US, in large part because they've gotten so good at evading antibodies. What's in these new booster shots is essentially the same as what was in the original shots, except for modifications that target the Omicron subvariants, so regulators felt comfortable rolling them out. The potential for fall and winter surges adds urgency to updating the currently available shots, which have been shown to be less effective against Omicron. But the original shots continue to keep people out of the hospital, which is a key measure of their effectiveness. And research has shown that protection against Omicron increases when people get the original boosters. Given all that, some vaccine experts told the journal that they weren't comfortable with the idea of giving the new boosters to millions of people without large-scale clinical testing. Human trials for the new shots from Moderna and Pfizer-BioNTech have already started, but their results won't be available for months. Now that the new shots have been authorized, Biden's fall COVID booster campaign is set to begin once the CDC signs off. The campaign will ship more than 170 million doses of the new vaccine to states, pharmacies, and other vaccination sites. Only people who are fully vaccinated will be able to get the modified booster, according to the administration's planning guide. Anyone 12 and older can get the shot from Pfizer. For Moderna's, you'll need to be at least 18 years old. Each person would get one shot of the new booster at least two months after their last jab. The booster campaign is expected to face challenges, including people just being tired of taking COVID vaccines. Health officials hope that by combining the rollout of the new boosters with annual flu shots will increase the COVID vaccination rates. Plus, we're dealing with a virus that keeps mutating, setting us up to need additional vaccine updates in the future.